was satisfied with what he had done. And today at the trial, we heard that he planned to kill many more people for a higher kill score on an online website. A warning, some may find the details in our story this evening disturbing. Manassian has confessed to planning the attack that claimed the lives of 10 and left 16 others injured following his rampage along two kilometers of Young Street in April of 2018. Today marked day 17 of his trial, which revolves around Manassian's criminal responsibility and whether his autism spectrum disorder rendered him unable to know what he was doing was morally wrong. Defense attorney Boris Batensky spent the day cross-examining the Crown's first expert witness, Dr. Percy Wright, a psychologist from CAMH. In his final report, Dr. Wright wrote that years before the van attack while in high school, Manassian fantasized about carrying out a mass shooting. He knew people would have been upset that their loved ones had been killed and that he would get a high score in terms of the number of people he attacked. More than a year after the mass murder, Dr. Wright asked Manassian how he felt about the van attack. Dr. Wright notes in his report that Manassian feels very happy and excited that people are watching television and talking about what he had done. Going on to say, despite not meeting his kill count of 100, he was satisfied with what he had done and he didn't waste anything. He was effective enough. Dr. Wright's final report to the court notes Manassian has an ongoing lack of empathy for his victims, including before, during and after the attack. However, he says he takes issue with the idea Manassian's lack of empathy could lead to a not criminally responsible verdict, telling the court that people without a disorder have done horrible things without empathy. I'm having an issue seeing how that flows from ASD. Oh, hi. Good to see you there. I'm using these fantastic new glass phones from just... This video of Manassian performing a school project has been shown at the trial. Today, while going over the conclusion in his report, the defense suggested to Dr. Wright, what you concluded is that his autism had a direct link to the offense. Dr. Wright, who again has been called to testify by the Crown, told the court, if you're going to ask me if this would have happened if he didn't have ASD, probably not. A mental disorder can be a burden and contribute to an offense, but it doesn't rob you of knowing it was wrong. And the defense expect to wrap up their cross-examination of Dr. Wright tomorrow morning. Once they're done, the Crown will be calling their second expert witness, a psychiatrist by the name of Dr. Scott Woodside, to the virtual stand.